John chapter 6, I want to begin reading this morning at verse 41. We'll read down uh, to about uh, verse 59. John chapter 6, begin reading with me at verse 41. The Bible says, Therefore the Jews were grumbling about him, because he said, I am the bread that came down out of heaven. And they were saying, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How does he now say, I have come down out of heaven? And Jesus answered and said to them, Do not grumble amongst yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught of God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. And truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread which comes down out of heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down out of heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread also, which I will give for the life of the world, is my flesh. <laughs> Excuse me. Verse 52 says, Then the Jews began to argue with one another, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in yourselves. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so he who eats me, he also live because of me. This is the bread which came down out of heaven, not as the fathers ate and died. He who eats this bread will live forever. You know, obviously, um, when you read this, um, it sounds a, a, a little gruesome and a little graphic, maybe. And, and people have made so much out of this section of Scripture. But essentially what Jesus is saying here, I don't believe this is a reference to the Lord's Supper. But what Jesus is saying here, him being the bread that has come down about heaven that gives life. The idea here is very simple. We must consume Jesus. We must be all about Jesus. Everything in our life hinges on Jesus, his will. As his disciples, we, we follow him. We, we follow in his footsteps. We live for him, for his will, for his glory. And we recognize that everything that we are, by way of forgiven sinners, the hope that we have, it's found in Christ Jesus. It's because of his flesh. It's because of the blood that was shed for us that we have hope. Therefore, we are all about Jesus. We consume Jesus. We make Jesus a part of who we are. Brethren, that's what it's all about. You know, apart from Jesus, we would do nothing. How thankful that he is the bread that came down of heaven the one who gives us life eternal. Let's be thankful for Jesus. Let's be all about Jesus. Let's allow his sacrifice to motivate us to get up today, to go out into the world and to do good, to live for his glory, to tell somebody about him, <clears throat> recognizing just how much he loves us and what he's done for us on the cross. Would you pray with me? Our Father in heaven, Father, we are so thankful that your son was willing to leave the glories of heaven and come to this earth and to die on the cross for our sins. Father, a half-hearted response, lukewarm response to that type of love and mercy, an all-consuming sacrifice that was given once for all, Father. We, it's just not reasonable, Father, for us to give half. We must give all, be consumed with your son, Father, as, as he loved us so much and was willing to do that, Father. Give us wisdom, give us courage, help us to to be the type of people that, that live our lives in light of, of, of Jesus' love, your love, to, and sending him to die for us, Father. We recognize that apart from this, we are absolutely nothing. We are sinners destined for hell, but you loved us, and for that, Father, we are so very thankful. Father, we're mindful of those who are hurting, those who are suffering, those whom we're concerned about. Father, we pray you'd be with our brother Dennis Green, that he would have the ability and the will to come and to, to worship with us, Father, very soon. We ask that you'd be with Carice, that, that all would continue to, to go well with her, that she would be able to get back out and worship with us. Father, we pray that you'd be with Nail, that, 
she would continue to recover from her recent stay in the hospital. Father, bless all of these. Bless those who care for them. We ask you to be with our sister Patsy. She recuperates, Father. Just be with her. Be with Dan and Pam as decisions be made on behalf of her father. We ask you to be with the Shul family as Jerry and Patty and the family care for her. Bless us today, Father, with opportunities to do good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.